I show my enemies no mercy! Everybody, I hope you enjoyed the the Guardian Gauntlet intro. I I spent a lot of time on that, but yeah, we we got season two of the Guardian Gauntlet in season seven of Smite. So let's do this. We gotta start with Ares. Now, I am gonna be changing some of the rules. So those that are new to the Guardian Gauntlet, what I did last time was I would basically have to start in alphabetical order at the first Guardian, Ares, and if I win, I would go to the next Guardian in the, the alphabet, right? Which would be, I think, uh, who's next? Ardeo? But this time, and then if I lost twice in a row with the same god, I would go down. So this time, I don't think I'm going to do it, so I go backwards. Just because it, it seemed like it gave it like a nice challenge to it. But in reality, uh, also I'm going to start bang. Well, let's go Warrior's Blessing Double Chalice, I think. Yeah, and then we'll start Sunder, which we'll have to upgrade. Joy, Jeff. So, to clarify, again, because I'm having to do so many things, to start this season, I am going to... Um, I'm not going to go backwards. So, we'll basically be on a god until we get a win. That way, we're guaranteed a win with every single god. And the upside to having a challenge to it where I would go down, all that did was... Uh, Honestly, we 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 only got stalled at Terra. <laughs> like, I would be I would be willing to play Terra until I you know until I got a win with her if I didn't have to go down to Savannah then you know possibly Sobek. Uh, that makes it all that makes it a ton more difficult. Whereas if we we're just you know starting with uh, just playing the god that we need to win with until we get a win, we're guaranteed to get a win with them. It just takes some time. Also, he's taking his sweet time clearing. Uh, also, okay, so now let's start talking about the game. Now, I double upgraded my three because it has such good clear, and in season seven, you have to start at buffs. I don't think Ares is that good this season. However, um, starting with starting with uh, your flames upgraded helps a lot more this season because you rely on wave clear so much more. Looks like he's just gonna focus me. Oh, if I hit that, that would've been nice. Wouldn't have killed, but we've got a lot of damage. Yeah, Ares, flame, Ares wave, wave clear with his flames is nice. It's just dangerous. That's all. Also, this is not upgrade Sunder, so we might as well use it whenever we can. Nope. It happens. I don't have beads, though. I just realized I don't have beads against uh, Heimdallr, which is really bad. Beads is necessary, so now we have to kind of avoid him like the plague uh, until he gets his, uh, until we get our beads, of course. Or I could count, I could try to counter ult him, but man, that would be difficult. However, he doesn't have beads. If I ult him, he could probably time his ult to ult me at the end of it. So I think whoever ults first loses, except he has a better chance of getting his ult off because it stuns me. Sunder was a mistake. I should have I should have thought about uh, beads, but that's okay. We haven't gotten first blooded. Just gotta play it safe. I am gonna keep upgrading my flames just because I do think it is so important. He's taking that. I can't contest. Hopefully he doesn't come over here. All right, let's go back where we'll go and take speed buff and return. Oh, can I not four boots? Oh, I'm so close. All right, might as well upgrade under then. Might as well have some damage, right? Am I, am I right? I don't know why in my mind I thought I had enough for boots. Probably just, just 100 gold off my head. Okay, so he's... He's getting it. Now, is he going to get boots first or transcendence? Most people get boots first. Wow, how did I miss that? Come on. Come on, Ares. You can do better than that. I'm going to put more points in my one now because we have good clear at this point. Our clear is fantastic. We mainly just need uh, some damage on our enemy god. Yeah, because last season, 
I always prioritize leveling my chains, but I don't have to do that. I mean, I don't do that anymore because there's just way too many buffs. You're not, you're gonna spend way too much time clearing wave if you don't max the three. Thank God for that Ares buff they did a while ago, where they made they made his three do a lot more damage to minions, minions and jungle camps. This Bifrost is in an interesting area to say the least. Kinda was worried about him ulting me there. I'm deathly afraid of his ult. I can't do much against it just because I don't have beads. But he doesn't have beads either, so if I ult him, maybe the best thing to do would be to ult him at max range just to force his ult, if that makes sense. Um, and then he can't hit me with it. Because if he can't hit me with his ult, then... If he can't hit me with his ult, then I don't gotta worry about it. And then I can play a little more aggressive. Can't even clear the wave because his autos do so much. I'm dollars. I'm dollars strong. I wouldn't say he's OP. But he is a strong god. We will probably go get Spear of the Mages this game. Um... I was told initially that Spear of the Mages does not, like, with Ares 1, right? If you were to refire the chains, it doesn't increase the damage. Um, it resets. But no, Spear of the Mages actually does not reset with the chains. However, it doesn't give that much damage. It gives enough for it to be worth it. But last season with, uh, last season with old Spear of the Mages, you got more damage out of it. So that, that's just it. It's like, yeah, Spear of the Mages works on Ares now. Um, it makes his 3 really good. Also, we are going to get an item called Tyrannical. It's pretty good right now. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Old Spirit Mages gave you more damage. New Spirit Mages works. It's cool, but it's not as good. I, I, I don't like the Spirit Mages change. I feel like so many gods that had damage over time it, the old one was good on them and now this new one even though they're a damage over time god like with dots right it's not good on them like jean Kui, it's not good on jean Kui. the new one's not good on jean Kui, and he has dots dots galore it's like only good on like merlin anubis kukulkin like that's not fun you get your ult here nope he ulted okay perfect now i don't now i don't have to worry about his ult he is going to go for my buff. He do a good amount of damage here, actually. Knock up immune, knock up immune. Good stuff, yeah. I'm glad that we happened to, like that, that was a lit, pretty much bit of luck, just that we happened to use our flames at the end because it was coming up on cooldown. And that's when he used his, uh, his doot doot. Because he wasn't, you know, I'm not gonna be to my flames. That's great. First blood goes to Ares. He's using his Bifrost, okay. Yeah, I kind of need to keep in mind a general idea of where his Bifrost is. Otherwise, I could be in trouble. All right, so Tyrannical. Let's, let's go through this item real quick for those that don't know. It gives 70 power, 40 physical protection, 100 health, 20% crowd control reduction. Pretty good base stats. Passive, minions gain 10% health, allied minions, and 20% attack speed. So the passive's okay. I, I would have liked if the base stats were worse and the passive was stronger, just because I, I think it's such a cool passive. But you know, I mean, it, the, the reason we buy it on Ares is it's the aura item, so it gives us 100 power, which is already crazy. Um, and of course, it gives us a more objective push. Because Ares struggles with objective push, so he can take uh, towers. We might get Emperors too, but that might be too much. Either way, it also gives more... Whenever a minion dies, I get, what is it, 5 power? Stack 6 times. So at max stacks, it gives 130 power. And it's a defense item. <laughs> so, oh god, he knew he had to do that. Yep. We're dead. We need to get to level 12 ASAP. Oh, that's unlucky. It, it had me come back into tower. Oh, look look how close I am to level 12. Once we get beads, we're going to have a good time. So I, can, I have two choices. I can go Emperor's or I can go some sort of damage item. Hmm. 
We kind of need cooldown, though. I think I'll go Chronos Pennant. Chronos, Chronos Pennant got buffed. It's really good. We do not have pen. We do not have life still. We do not have that much defense. I need to use my ward. Also, his his ult's down for a while, so actually I won't use my ward because then that'll put my beats on cooldown. We do not want that. So what's the gold count? He's 500 gold ahead of me. Ah, that's not even bad. Oh no, he's going runic shield. Ah, god, runic shield. Runic shield is is my weakness. As a guardian main, it hurts so much. You're all still down for a while, right? Correct. Okay. I'm okay with the chains today. I'm not great. I'm not horrible. I'm okay. Results coming up pretty soon. Gonna get out. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was on a little bit longer of a cooldown, just because it is a. Uh, what was it? it scales kind of like a, like a global all a little bit because it's such a long banish. I guess not. My instincts were there, my action was not. Heimdall is very good. He's good at zoning me when I'm trying to clear minions because like I can't I can't afford to take those auto attacks. Also with the heightened Mimia nerf. Uh, hunters are very strong right now because you can't exactly punish them, you know? Hunters can go full power, no pen. And it's like, okay, I'll get hiding to me, and it, it just doesn't doesn't punish them. You know? I like the old hiding to me. But oh well. We do not have tower anymore, which sucks. I really want to get a uh, Wars Blessing stacked right here. I miss that. Come on. Oh my god, that slows so much. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Hmm. Everyone in shield hurts. Cooldown will help. I'm thinking about maybe getting a bank frost just for some. Some ability to life still up. Also, if you notice, I'm not using my Sunder very much. We we need to save it for areas where he's in a bad spot, and we can just kill him, like, guaranteed. Also, upgrading our beads would not be a terrible idea. I might even consider a Relic Dagger, because the I, I feel like the only way we can win this... Because the best part behind Heimdall is his ultimate, is if we can beat his ult every single time. If he gets an ult, if I don't beat his ult properly, it's like a guaranteed death. It does way too much damage. Like, look how much he did last time. That, that was before he had this many items. We do need to sell our double chows for wards pretty soon, though. Unfortunate. We could also consider a gem of ISO, but I think right now we need... You know more defense. I wanted the emperors, but we're not. We're we're at the point where we're behind enough that it's not going to help us. Oh, you know what item I should have tested with obsidian shard? I should have tested with obsidian if when you fire Ares chain and you refire, if that counts as the same ability, because then obsidian would be great on Ares. Dang, I should have tried that. It might still be worth. Keep missing these. He's sidestepping perfectly. He'll sidestep to the left, the next time he'll sidestep to the right, so forth. He also knows I don't have any wards, just because I have double chows. I need to sell them, but we're just farming right now. Try not to fall too far behind. We do need another defense item. Now, Jade Emperors would be okay here. Oh, he took Bold Demon. I thought he was just taking these. Alright, well now we're on defensive big time. 
Uh, Jade Emperors would be okay, but even with Ares passive, it's still, in my opinion, worse than Runic Shield. I don't know. And it's only good early game. I would have. Pre I still prefer the Tyrannical. All right, which is back off. What physical defense item do we want? Because we need it right now. Celestial could be good. No, he can shred it. Okay, make a decision. Let's go with. Go with Mid Guardian. Mid Guardian could be good. He already has not that much attack speed, slowing it more, and slowing him could be good. Makes me be able to hit my chains. No! I was spamming my ult, and then I switched to start spamming my beats. We're okay, but that sucks. I can't fight him now. I took away too much damage from through whatever the hell it's called. Man, okay, we're getting Bancroft's next. I don't have any pen, but right now I just need power. He has beads. Let's see if I can get them. I don't want to kill him. I just want beads. Look how much his autos do. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane. Wow, that's. That's that, man. I tried my best. Uh, I was at that last engagement where he ulted me. I t wanted to counter ult his ult. I didn't get it off in time. So then I started, I switched from spamming forward to spamming my beads, and I missed it. So, GG. Obviously, we'll be playing Ares next game. Um, with the Guardian Gauntlet, uh, in my mind, the rules are that I should always record the games back to back. Like, if I have a really bad game or a really good game, that goes on YouTube, right? And I think that that's also one reason why people hated my Terra game so much. Whereas other people might have not even uploaded those. I felt in my mind, they, they got to be back to back, you know? Otherwise, it's not it's not fair. And when I mean back to back, I mean, like, if I'm recording for the Grand Island, it goes up. But I feel like I did okay that match. We had a good start, but then, you know, Heimdall or all. If, but we learned from it, right? I, I, ha I don't have too much experience against Heimdallr. Um, but however, we learn from it, and that's the important thing. So if I were to redo this match, I would have gone Beats first Relic. Um, the build, I think I probably... Actually, it could have been more aggressive in the early. The Warrior's Blessing helped, but I don't think we need Double Chalice. We probably could have gone for a for either Boots straight away or a Tyrannical right away. Um, but that's what I would have done differently. I think everything else was okay. I mean, misplays, you know, obviously you, you would play them a bit better, but I'm talking build-wise, hindsight. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.